Hey everybody, welcome to Ram TV and welcome back to my Madden Connector franchise with the Denver Broncos 2.0. This is episode 9, so if you guys aren't caught up, look for a playlist on my channel. And if you're new, subscribe and click the notification bell. And here we are for week 9 against the Texans. Uh, they are 3 and 5, we're 7 and 1. We're going to be playing in Denver. Uh, so hopefully we can continue our winning ways as we beat the Chiefs last week by 3. Uh, let's see if we can go 8-1 and one and continue to try to distance ourselves from the rest of the AFC West and even the entire division or the entire conference um, so far in the AFC. The, the only team that's really battling us right now are the Titans. Uh, the Browns are also 6-2 and two, as well as the Bengals. So it's actually a pretty tight race right now. Uh, so yeah, I'll see you guys in Denver. That's a big play by the Broncos that is a game of 32. That is Holmes again. We are moving so fast right, when, right now with the ball. Alright. What's up for a field goal? It's going to be 3 nothing. I swear that we are going to score a touchdown. Damn it. That's a sack! Sua Cravens with a sack. Alright. Let's go for a field goal. Let's see what's going on here. Doing yards out. It's up and short and to the left. So we're gonna take it from the from the Denver 41 yard line. It's gonna be a big rush or a big catch rather by Lindsay. He can kind of get lost, make someone miss. It's good for him. Yeah, it's great for him. I like what you said there. Sometimes he gets just going to naturally continue. Just make sure you feed me the football. And oh. Uh. Before the ball goes in the cup. This looked like a slam dunk for points on this drive, didn't it? Get his ball back. Oh, no. No way. Oh, my gosh. That's 93 yards. Are you joking? Thomas, oh. his first touchdown on the year. Son of a nice job there defensively to clamp down because really another field goal and that's good. So seven to six. So now our defense just has to hold up. I want some more plays like that again. With, this just happened previously with uh, the Marius Thomas. That was just. These kickers now used to be that a fifty-pointer was caught for sure. That was nice. To throw is Keenan. Oh, that's a catch by Sanders. This is going to be a touchdown. And it's good. That is a touchdown by Emmanuel Sanders. What a quick strike. Caught it going left and also made a quick cut to the right and lost the defense. That's a sack by Von Miller and injures Deshaun Watson. Whoops. Look at that. Oh my gosh. That is a sack by Vaughn Miller. I'd rather it was Darren Stewart. Lost a seven. Oof. That's a sack by Justin Simmons. He just wants to write the ship on the scoreboard. Oh no. What? Oh my gosh. Picked off by the defensive lineman will take the bait and move laterally and open up a quick. Ooh, that's a pick. Hopkins and it's intercepted. Sua Cravens with a pick. That's a pick by Sua Cravens. And the Bronx get the ball back. And the only way to truly be good ball hawks is not guessing. It's not just simply anticipation. It's That's a big run. By Philip Lindsay for the first down. Oh, this got picked off too. 
This is third pick of the half. We have to pick as well. We get the ball back. This is Darian Stewart this time with the pick. So we give it up. We get the ball back. Give it up. We get the ball back. This is not a pattern that I, I, I like. Okay, so another field goal here. Hopefully we can knock this in, and it's up, and it's in the middle. We're up 16 to 14. All right, this field goal. At the interception, so now it's 17 to 16. We've got 24 seconds left in the half. Looks like they'll head to the locker room. Should be a lot of congestion there. You're counting on your offensive line to take control of the line of scrimmage. There you go. Oh, keep going. There's a touchdown. Corlin Sutton fights to get into the end zone. It's his fifth touchdown of the season. And there you go. The fireworks are up in the air, and the Broncos take the lead. Here in the third quarter, we're going to go for the two here. Let's see if I can get it in with a... Come on, keep going. Keep going. No. That's a fumble. That's a fumble. Von Miller causes the fumble and gets the ball back. Wow, Von Miller so big on defense. But I, I don't need to say anything else about that. Von Miller's amazing. And that was a touchdown for Cortland Sutton. Von Miller again with another sack. That's three sacks in the game for Von Miller. That's a good catch. That is Jordan Taylor. That's a long first down. Ooh, look at Stiff Arm. I'm sure he got the first down with that. What a catch! That is a touchdown. Four. Well, Sutton, that's his fourth touchdown, a third touchdown of the game. Keenum's fourth of the game. All right, so that is the ball game. We went at home against the Texans. And it was a shootout, I got to say. What the? I'm not sure what I'm looking at there. But Corlin Sutton was an amazing game. Excuse me. It was a breakout game, basically. It was... Awesome, he played so well. Um, unfortunately, he had to have those four interceptions. Um, you know, Keenum threw those four interceptions, and I wasn't happy about it, but somehow we're able to just still come out with the win. Uh, 42 to 27. And yeah. Let's see, we right, even one now. Let's take a look at the stats. Keenum, 51% uh, passing, um, 275 yards, four touchdowns, four interceptions. Rushing, we got Philip Lindsay, 94 yards, um, 30 carries, receiving. So we got the Broncos here. We got Deshaun Hamilton with 104 yards, Emmanuel Sanders with 99 yards, Colin So in the big game, three touchdowns, 58 yards. Philip Lindsay, I love using him, using the passing game and the running game. Uh, three catches for 36 yards. Andre Holmes, everybody touched the ball. Everybody touched the ball. And defensively, uh, we had Von Miller with three and a half sacks this game. Shaquille Barrett with a sack. So does Sua Cravens, Justin Simmons, Darren Stewart, and Josie Joel. Uh, we had three interceptions, Bowen by Mike Adams, Sua Cravens, Darren Stewart. And then again, we had that forced fumble by Von Miller and a fumble recovered by Von Miller, which is pretty freaking awesome. Um, then we had McCannis hit. Let's see, how many field goals did he hit? Oop. How many field goals did he hit? He had three field goals, I believe. Oh, no, it's three extra points. Uh, five field goals. So it was a, it was a lot. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the home screen uh, to, to for a recap. 
Okay, so I'm back. Um, I actually uh, went out of my way to fast forward into, or rather past the bye week. Uh, so the next episode is going to be against the Chargers. Uh, they're five and four, we're eight and one. Let's take a look at the standings here. Uh, let's see how we're doing in the AFC West. And we are, let's see. Well, in the AFC, we are now the lone, the yeah, basically the lone survivor of the AFC right now. We're eight and one. The next team is the Patriots, who are eight and two. Um, so we gotta try to secure that first seed. And let's see. Let's take a look at the AFC West. We're up uh, on the Chargers. They're five and four. Again, we're eight and one. So in terms of the AFC West spot, I have some, I have some space, but I don't want to just win the AFC West. I want to win the top seed in the AFC, um, so that way I can get the, the, the best possible schedule where I can rest my guys. And also, Royce Freeman came back, so we have three really good running backs. We got, uh, we got obviously Philip Lindsay, we have Devontae Booker, who I've been using, and also um, Royce Freeman coming back. So it should be very interesting, and that's even more, more uh, weapons for my team. Uh, so this is going to wrap it up for my Madden Connector franchise at the Denver Broncos. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to click the thumbs up button. Leave any comments below. And hope you guys have a great day. Take it easy. And as usual, peace.